Hey there, Pod Squad. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Yona. I'm a third year podiatric medical student at CSPM, and today I'm going to share some tips with you guys if you're first or second year wanting to prepare for the boards in the upcoming summer. So let's begin. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, my first tip for all of you is to focus on your classes. And what I mean by that is study as if you're studying for the boards. I know a lot of you are very stressed when you're studying for classes and you're studying for midterms or finals and I totally understand that. But don't just study for short term thinking, study for long term. I wish I could tell myself back in first year that you should be taking your classes as seriously as possible as if you're studying for the boards because you want to retain as much information as possible and you want to take really good notes because if you ever look back at those notes when you are studying for boards at least they're very organized and you already know that you had it already set out for you as if you were studying for the boards. Additionally, there is a subject guide that has all the things listed out that are pertinent for the boards. So if you look at this subject guide, and I'll probably put a link in the description down below, you, there's high yield concepts or topics that are going to be on the boards. And if you have this subject guide open as you're going through a particular class, let's say physiology, you should have that subject guide open fill out those topics with whatever notes you are learning from class and so that way when you do start setting for boards you open up the subject guide and you have all your notes filled out for each particular topic and i'm telling you right now if you start doing that now it will make your life 10 times easier when the day comes so for my second tip and advice for you guys is to actually review a little bit of lea every day and i know a lot of you first years you guys are taking lea so you guys are pretty fresh on that but for you second years you should start really glancing over that LEA, some of those LEA notes that you took back in first year. Or if you're taking it now, just review a little bit every day. Just keep making sure you're reviewing it because I know for me, when I took the APM LE exam, we're podiatry students, we should know LEA inside and out. However, the questions aren't so black and white. And I, I, I realize that the test makers are trying to trick you a little bit here and there. And they want you to really, really know your LEA. So, I advise you guys to really just look over your notes a little bit every day because we're gonna be podiatrists at the end of the day and we're gonna to need to know our LEA inside and out. And it won't take away from your other class time if you just review like at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day because those origin insertions can be a pain in the butt. But if you really get those down now, it will make your life a little bit easier when you are studying all of your LEA when it leads up to your exam day. My third tip for all of you is to consider tutoring and I personally I love tutoring and I tutored physio mainly most of my second year of uh, podiatric medical school and leading up to the boards I felt really confident in physio and it felt like I retook physio during my second year and I felt that the information was very fresh in my mind and I did barely any studying for physio so when when I, when I was taking the exam, the questions were very straightforward to me and I didn't feel confused at all because I had all this physio tutoring racked up in my mind and the information was just very clear cut to me. So if you are good at a particular subject or if you want to tutor for a particular subject, I encourage you to do so and you will really stay on top of that subject and it will only reinforce all that information that you learned previously. So you should start tutoring. If there's a friend that actually needs help, or you're taking a class with a friend and he just needs help with some information, go ahead, help that student out, help your fellow classmate out because this will only help you reinforce all that information. And I guarantee you, thank yourself when the day of the exam comes because that's one less thing that you have to worry about when you're studying for eight other subjects the day of the exam. My fourth and last tip for all of you is to utilize upperclassmen. Ask your upperclassmen what worked and what didn't work. Because for me personally, I found it to be very difficult to lay out the groundwork for myself and how to approach different subjects, what resources worked or not. And these upperclassmen have just a vast amount of knowledge and what worked and what didn't work. And so I spent two hours just talking to a particular upperclassman about how she approached boards and I felt like that was really good for me. That was like a breath of fresh air and I knew that I could tackle the board similar to how she did. 
And look, you know what? I passed and I'm happy and I thank her for that because she did really lay out some of the foundation for me to really be prepared and preparing for my boards. So go out there, ask your upperclassmen. They're gonna be very helpful and it's really nice. So I hope you guys found all those tips and advice I've given in this video helpful. And we're gonna be posting future videos, videos on our vlogs and how we study during our studying time for boards and also some of the resources that we use that helped us for particular subjects and how we succeeded, how we passed the boards. So in order to have access to those videos, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you guys are notified about all those future videos coming up. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Hot Squad signing out. Take care, guys.